Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to do our special Let's Make Art Matter for the month of December where we're going to learn how to paint different poinsettia plants, which I remember growing up, they my mom had a lot of them during the holidays. Have you seen what they look like? Oh yeah, my mom used to have some too. Oh really? Like three. <laughs> so they're these really cool red plants with a lot of layers of leaves. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. But if you have our box, you will see a post a card that looks like this and there'll be a postcard that has a stamp on the back. There won't be an address and that is because you get to decide who you're going to make this card for. So one of the fun things about art and also the holidays is that it's a giving time. And so you are able to make something of your own, of your own painting that we're gonna do together today and then mail it off to anyone that you like. So maybe it's someone who you can't physically see during the holidays, maybe they live really far away or someone that you miss. So that's who we're gonna be painting for today. Now, the first step is, is showing you the supplies. So we're gonna be using just three colors. We have our red for the flowers, we have green for the leaves, and then yellow for the inside of the flowers. So the first step is, is we start with our motto. So if you all can raise your right hand with me, sit up straight and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. And you're going to be all three of those with me today because we're going to be just taking this blank piece of paper and being brave and going for it. And then kind and creative. <laughs> so the first one is, is let's squeeze out some yellow. Now, I want you to know that whenever we paint together, and especially right now, is you have this blank canvas. You get to make this however you want. So you can either do one really big flower, you can do lots of really small ones, you can do two like I have here and I'll show you, but you get to decide. What we're gonna do is you're gonna dip your brush in water because you want it a little bit wet, hit it off to the side of the palette so it's not super, super wet, and you're gonna dip in your yellow and pick two spots or however many spots you want to draw the insides of your flowers. So I'm just kind of dabbing the brush up and down to make these dots that are really close together because that's what the centers look like. So I'm gonna do one up here too. So just doing little dots to create a circle. First step done. Second step is, is let's squeeze out some red. So we're gonna start to do the leaves, but what I wanna show you is that, can you see on this one how they're really light pink? Now actually, I've seen some points out of plants that are white. Have you ever seen those? I don't think so. They're really cool. So there's, you, there's different colors and also, we like to use our imagination here. So if you're like, I wanna make them different colors, mm -hmm. you can do that. Yeah, like a brown center. <laughs> oh yeah. Or a <laughs> blue center. You can make them any color. So, but what I wanna teach you is that to make a lighter color, cause I wanna show you how to make kind of layers, is you're gonna take your brush and whatever color you have, you're gonna add water. So I like to put it on my palette. Let me bring this down a little bit for you. So put it on my palette, and then I'm just gonna bring over some water from my cup and mix it in. So here's the thing. The lighter, or the more water you add, the lighter the color. So if you don't want a super, super light pink and kind of how this one where you see some dark or red and then just medium red maybe, then maybe you go in and add more color. So you get to decide what color you want that the first layer to be. Now, because these are a little bit wet, you can either use, if you have a tool like this, this is our heat it craft tool, or if you don't have that, you can also just take off a piece of your, your paper towel, and I'm gonna just push and kind of dab. So it'll make it lighter, which maybe you like that. It's gonna make it a lighter color, but basically it dries it up a little bit. So that way when we do this next layer, it won't bleed so much into the next color. So I have two different brushes. Also, you might too. You can decide if you wanna use whichever one you want. We're gonna be doing a bigger shape, so you can use your big one if you want to do that. But I'm gonna dip in water. I'm gonna take my lighter color and we're gonna to start to make the petals. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in the center and you're gonna come out and then go in. So you're gonna make a curve. 
and they're gonna do the opposite to make a curve on the other side. So I always say they look like either eyeball shapes or footballs, footballs. Keenan likes to call them footballs, or almonds, or, or we are doing leaves or petals. So I'm gonna keep going around. So do you see how I did another one here, another one here? Let's do another one here. Now, I don't, I was asking Keen, I was like, I wonder how many petals they actually have. But the cool thing about nature is that they're, they all might be a little bit different. So yours might have five petals. Maybe you needed even more space and you make six. Either way, whatever you do is wonderful because we we're just painting. So I'm gonna repeat those steps and do the same thing. So again, I'm making almond shapes going around. And here's the other fun thing, is that your flower might be like mine, where my next petal, when I do this, it's kind of gonna go off the edge a little bit. And that, I think, looks really, really cool when sometimes you go off the paper like that. So you can even see on some of these, I added some extra petals around the edges. So, we're gonna keep that now. I want this to dry, so we're gonna add another layer. So can you see how this is the first layer that we're doing? And that's already really pretty flowers already. Kind of totally. reminds me of like hibiscus flowers. So Ooh, you can... hibiscus, big fan. <laughs> so if you wanna leave that, you can do that. Or if you want to add another layer, I'm gonna teach you. So we're gonna dry this again. And then I'm gonna use some paper towels too. The paper towel also adds some cool texture. But we're going to do one more layer, but this time I want you to use your darker color so that it creates some contrast, which means a difference. So I'm gonna use my red. And this time, here's what we're gonna do, is do you see these empty spaces in between that was created from your petals? Mm -hmm. I want you to start, actually this may help, I have a trick for you. Do a dot somewhere in the middle, and then you're gonna go from that dot and make a curve, and then go to the center. Ooh. So that may help you. So I'm gonna fill that in. So repeat, and do my dot maybe over here. So I'm gonna have my flowers overlap, just like they're overlapping these petals. Like that, so then they go like that. And overlaps mean it means it's on top. So that way our eye sees, okay, there's a whole other level that's on top of that. Those look like they're behind. The first ones look like they're behind. Good, the that's what we're going for. So keep going around. Let's see, do there. Then you, you know what's fun is out, I just thought about this. You can keep doing this step again and again if you like. You could do it again where you add another dot and you add more layers. Oh, so if you have a space like that, you can either fill it in. I just realized that you can fill it in like that to kind of connect it. Cool. Then what I'm thinking is I'm going to let that dry and then we'll add the layer of the, the textures, the ripples. So I'm going to repeat the step over here. And yeah, adding that dot really helps. So you're going to do the same thing. We're in between. And you get to decide how big your petals are. So if, the, if you have your dot further out, the bigger the petal is going to be. Mm. Now let's see if I do it right here. And then right there. Okay, and I wanna show you actually, I'm gonna leave these spaces because I, I kinda like them. They both look like poinsettia plants, so they're That's both nice. great. Okay. So, I, here's what I'm thinking. While this is drying a little bit, let's fill in some spaces. So you, we have some space right here, so what if you take your, your color, either your light color or your dark color, you get to pick, and let's pretend there's a flower over here. So if the middle was right here, let's pretend, and we'll draw a leaf right here. Mm. Or a petal, I mean, right here. So if it was right here, maybe the other, whoops, the other petal would go right here. So you're kind of just making it up. So it's pretending like it's coming out of here. Maybe there's another one over here. So go ahead and fill in some space and add in some where you like. Now, 
Let's think about, you know when you go outside and you see leaves, they have a lot of um, texture to them, so they're not just this flat color. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what we're gonna do is you can decide what, if you wanna pick a different color, maybe you wanna do brown. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the darker red. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw from the center just lines like that. So Ooh. on the lighter petals, we're just gonna add lines. And I didn't go all the way to the edge. You can do that if you want. And then another thing, you are the artist, so you get to decide, is do you want to add more lines and veins coming out of there. So you know when leaves have that where they come, lines come out from the center? So I'm gonna do that on the other side. So they come out from the center mm, like that. Yeah, I've seen that. So you get to decide if you want this. If you wanna leave it blank, you can. I just wanted to show you these are different things that you can do. So I'm gonna do that at a line right here. So it won't be as as obvious because these petals are a little bit darker. So if you need to add more color, you can also add some brown if you would like. You mm. are an artist. So we're gonna kind of have fun and see what happens if I add a little bit of brown. So again, maybe I'm just gonna, on these ones, I'm just gonna have the lines. And then we'll do it to these petals. So we're adding the veins of our, to our leaves, or petals. Keep calling them leaves because they look like leaves. They do. Okay. Now, fun. So I'm gonna leave that so you can see the difference. You can either do it like that or leave them like that. Now, the very last step is adding the green leaves. So those are actually underneath the petals that you have. So what we're gonna do is, let me squeeze out some green. And then, I believe this is all dry. And if not, it'll blend a little bit together and that'll be okay. I'm gonna go to my smaller brush because there's not a lot of areas. So you, again, I just wanna show you different ideas. You can do small petals like this around or if you wanna do bigger ones, you can decide how big they are. So let's pretend like this petal goes behind and then it goes behind this one. So it's really big. And when you get close to the petal, you're just gonna go a little bit slower and it'll help you. And again, if the colors blend, it's okay, that's cool. It's actually creating a shadow. Whoa. So you can create some really big leaves or some smaller ones. Because again, nature isn't symmet perfectly symmetrical, so they're gonna be a little bit different. But, so we're adding them behind. So can you see how we're creating the layers again? So then maybe I'll do some smaller ones over here. So you're just adding to your painting. Then if you want, you can also let me dry these just a little bit. Is just like we learned with our petals where they have the veins, mm -hmm. so do the leaves. Ooh. So maybe you add that line in the center and then you add the lines coming out from the center to add some texture like that. I'm gonna leave those like that. Nice. Fun! So fun. And I want you to know that do you see how each of these are a little bit different and unique in your own way? So that is the beautiful thing about painting is that each of ours is gonna look unique just like you and me. So I want you to always remember that. Now, the last thing is, is that don't forget to write to make sure to ask a grown up who, maybe the address of who you wanna send this to and you can write them a little note on the back, say thinking of you or happy holidays or I miss you. And then you're gonna put it in the mail and it's gonna be a fun surprise for them that they won't expect. So thank you for painting me with me. This is so much fun. And we wanna see what your point center looks like. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. Please share with us. We wanna see and cheer you on. And always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye.